Hi, good morning to all. This is the second video related to efficient computation of two real sequences. Okay, so we can move on to a problem. Uh, in the question, uh, given x1 of n, it is a four point sequence, and x2 of n, it is also another four point sequence, and the DFT of x of n is denoted by x1 of k, and DFT of x2 of n is denoted by x2 of k. Okay, we want to compute this is a DFT using efficient method. Okay, that means using single DFT, you want to compute the value of x1 of k and x2 of k. Okay, we already studied uh, uh, many methods. Using that, you can compute x1 of k and x2 of k independently. But here, efficient computation, the term, the term is important. Using efficient computation, you want to compute the value of x1 of k and x2 of k. That means using a single n point DFT function, you want to compute the value of x1 of k and x2 of k. You must read the question carefully. Okay, so using a single four point DFT algorithm, you want to compute the DFT of x1 of n and x2 of n. Okay, so you, al uh, you already studied about the theory behind that. Okay, the first step is, we want to generate x of n. The x of n is x1 of n plus j into x2 of n. Okay, here x1 of n is given and x2 of n is also given. From that, you can compute x of n. Okay, that is 1 plus. See, at 0th index, this is 1. x1 of 0 is 1 and x2 of 0 is 2. So, 1 plus 2j. Then, next, 3 plus 4j. Then, 4 plus 3j and 2 plus j. That is x of n. Then you can compute DFT of x of n using any method. Okay, here we use DIT FFT algorithm. Okay, here we use a DIT FFT algorithm. We given x of n as the input, you will get x of k as the output. Okay, you already studied about DIT FFT algorithm using that. Here we use the four point DIT FFT algorithm. We given the input x of n that is written here. This is the x of n. Okay, you will get the DFT of x of n that is x of k as the output. Okay, just to do the problem. You will get x of k as 10 plus 10j minus 2j uh, 0 and minus 6. These are the values. Okay, you can use uh, any method. Here we go for DIT FFT algorithm. Okay, then next step is you want to compute x conjugate of minus k. Okay, that is if x of k is given, our aim is okay. Just to read the question, we want to compute we want to compute the value of x one of k and x two of k. That is the question. We want to compute the value of x one of k and x two of k. That is the question. So here x we compute x of k. From x of k, you want to compute x1 of k and x2 of k. You want to compute x1 of k and x2 of k. Okay, how can you do that? You will know the equation clearly. If x of k is known, you can compute it is x of k plus x conjugate of minus k divided by 2. That is the equation for x1 of k. And you already studied equation for x2 of k is x of k minus x conjugate of minus k divided by 2j. Okay, so x of k is known. How can you compute x conjugate of minus k? Uh, here you first perform reversal operation. Okay, first we want to compute x of minus k. How can you compute x of minus k? What is the procedure to compute x of minus k? It can be computed. It is already studied in the DFT properties. Please cross check that. That is reversal property in DFT. Okay. So, uh, I just once again, I repeat that. Here we write the elements in the anti-clockwise direction. Here we write the values in the anti-clockwise direction 10 plus 10j minus 2j 0 and minus 6. This is x of k. What is x of minus k? 
you can compute it by reading or writing the values in the clockwise direction okay so you will get x of minus k x of minus k is equal to we read the values in the clockwise direction okay x so we write x of k in the anti clockwise direction and read in the reverse direction that is clockwise direction you will get x of minus k that is a 10 plus a 10 j and a minus 6 and 0 and minus 2 j this is x of minus k then what is x conjugate of minus k just to take the conjugate just to take the conjugate that means 10 minus 10 j and minus 6 0 this is a 0 0 and plus 2 j okay these are the values okay so you can compute x of k and x conjugate of minus k then you can easily compute the value of x1 of k and x2 of k using the equation okay we can check that uh, this is a x of minus k and x conjugate of minus k that is already we find that okay if you know the x of k and x conjugate of minus k you can compute x1 of k using this equation x of k we compute x of k and x conjugate of minus k just to substitute the values you will get x1 of k first we compute x1 of 0 as x of 0 plus x conjugate of 0 by 2 okay so you will get x1 of k value of x1 of k then x2 of k can be computed by this equation x of k minus x conjugate of minus k divided by 2j you will get the value of x2 of k okay please cross check the values okay thank you